Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this beautiful, simple, and fast Day of the Dead Sugar Skull design. As we all know, sugar skulls can be very time consuming, so I'm cutting down on the time by only applying white to the top portion of my face. And you can totally skip the white altogether if you want. So I'm using Krivlin Creamy White, I'm applying it, then switching my sponge and using the dry side to blend out all of those texture lines to make it a smooth, powdery, even finish. Next, I'm taking a split cake that I made myself using the Krivlin Creamy line. It's the very, very dark blue, the pearly bright blue, and a white. All of the colors will be listed below. And I'm using this to do the eye sockets. And this is a great way to do a blended effect on the eyes very quickly. So to start in the corner of your eye, go up, cut through your eyebrow, and then go into the corner of your eye, and then out again underneath. I decided that I didn't like how far I went up, so I simply wiped it away with a wet wipe, reapplied the white, and tried to make it as even as possible. And then I gave up because I couldn't make it that even, but I more carefully applied the blue color in a better shape that I thought was more attractive. Finally, I filled in the open space with the pearly bright blue color and a sponge. Next, for added dimension, I decided to put in a black eyeshadow just in the crease of my eye and right underneath my eye. If you're in an event, totally skip this part, but if you're doing it for a makeup look, it adds a lot of nice definition and depth to the eyes. For a pop of glitter on the eyelid, just re-moisten the eyelid and then put a matching opaque metallic glitter on top. For the petals around the eyes, I took Krivlin Creamy White and I tipped the tip of it in the darkest blue and that color will be below. And then simply just pressed my brush along the edge of the eye shape. And you wanna make sure that your petals are the largest on the outside of the eye and that they gradually get smaller and smaller as you go in towards the eye. And finally, you're gonna stop them uh, about midway across the eye. The less pressure you use, the smaller your petals will be. I decided to do a very fine outline in black, but this is actually a step that you can skip if you're at a busy event and it'll save you a lot of time if you don't outline the eyes. Using that same split cake in a flat brush, make your petal shapes on your forehead. Use the edge of your brush, pull up and press down to make that really pretty design, and then fill in any empty space using the pearly bright blue color. Make sure to make your petals large enough to fill in most of your forehead space so that the design looks balanced and not empty. Continue this technique, making sure that each petal is smaller than the one next to it, and that the top of the petals are all pointing towards the same focal point. and fill them in. To tie in the petals that go around the eyes, you can simply use that same double dipping technique and place them in the larger petals on the forehead. If you have extra time, you can also outline the petals on the forehead. And just so you know, this is what goes on when I'm doing my videos. Sometimes it's hard to concentrate. And no one got hurt in the making of this video. <laughs> Make sure to have your lines be thick to thin and that they end in a nice point at the top of each petal. I thought it would be pretty to have a jewel at the top of the flower, so I put a jewel there and then also in between each of my petals. And I put the jewel on and decided it looked kind of ridiculous and took the jewel off. In its place, I painted a half circle using the pearly bright blue and then covered it with that same metallic light blue glitter. To 
To finish it off, I used dots and I made sure that one was big and one was small and alternated the sizes. Now it's time to stick on the gems. Make sure that the gems go from largest to smallest. So your biggest gems are gonna be in the outer corner of your eye and the more into the inner corner of your eye you go, the smaller your gems are going to be. Finally, put dots of glitter gel in between each of the gems. If you're in a rush for time or don't have gems, just use glitter gel and it'll save you a lot of time and you don't have to waste any gems. To help add a little more design to the flower, I decided to do clusters of teardrops on the tips of some petals and in between some of the petals. Just make sure that they're small and delicate and you can achieve this by using a very thin brush. Sugar schools usually always have some kind of a design on their cheekbones, so I decided to do pretty and delicate swirls to keep the design looking feminine and pretty and I did a double swirl at the bottom to add some interest. And then to tie in the teardrop clusters that are on the flower, I just put a quick teardrop cluster in between my two swirls and it helps to tie everything together. And then a couple more teardrops and you're all done with the cheekbone design. For the nose, I also wanted to keep it on the more delicate side, so I started it at the very tip of my nose instead of covering up my entire nose. And I did two curving lines that go up the bridge of my nose. And I made sure to only cover part of the outer portions of my nose and then filled it all in. For the mouth, I did a very thin line on the corners coming out, ending in a very fine point, and then just flicked my brushes for the teeth marks and make sure that these flicks get smaller and smaller as you go up the mouth. And using that pearly bright blue I filled in my lips, I decided not to put teeth on my lips because I thought it looked prettier that way. And like I said, I wanted this to be a very pretty and feminine design. And also it saves time not having to put the teeth on the lips and I shaded in the outer corners with black eyeshadow but this is an unnecessary step it just adds dimension and depth and finally I remoistened the inside of my lips and put that blue glitter to tie it all together so I had blue at the top of the design, the middle, which is my eyes, and the bottom, which are my lips. I really hope you guys like this design. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and check me out on Facebook. A link to that is below, along with all of the products that I used in this video. Have a great Halloween.